Hello all, welcome to the VoIP Traffic Analysis course on Pentester Academy. Now in this video, we will uh, you know, begin where we left off in the last one and look at SIP and SRTP based traffic and continue with actually decrypting SRTP. So let's actually jump right in. So I'm in the same directory. Now, in order to decrypt SRTP, we need to go ahead and install uh, some tools. So in this video, we are actually going to look at a tool called SRTP Decrypt, which is open source and is available on GitHub. So here is the tool page. Doesn't seem to be too popular, but uh, seems to get its job done. Now this tool does require that we have libgcrypt as well as libpcap, uh, both development versions installed. So let's uh, do that. So I'm gonna do a sudo apt update. I have no clue why my sudo command takes such a lot of time. If anyone has any good guesses, please tweet it out to me on security tube. I'd love to know why. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and install libgcrypt development version and libpcap again development version. Now you would also need, need make and build essential so that you know we have all the compilers and all of that stuff as well. Now in my case, I just ran this before making this video to test everything. Uh, so uh, it'll already be pre-installed, but if you have a fresh Ubuntu install, you would need to do this. Okay, so now I'm going to create the workspace directory. And inside workspace, I'm going to do a git clone. And if you don't have git installed, you can do an apt install git and clone the SRTP decrypt repository, go inside that and run the make command. And this ends up building SRTP decrypt, uh, which is what we are going to use to decrypt SRTP traffic. Okay, fantastic. So now let's actually go two directories up, open up call to voicemail once again within Wireshark. And I'm also going to launch, I mean, you could use any text editor. I'm going to use gedit. And first apply filter, just like we did in the last video for SIP or RTP. Click on SIP flows. Select, map the flow sequence, bring this down, close this window. So what I really want is to get those two encryption keys from the client to the server and from the server to the client. So in my gedit, I'm first going to write client to server and then make a separate section for server to client. Okay. And then let's actually go ahead and find the SDP packets. So this one is actually server to client as we can see. We can go in here, click on message body, copy this one out. So we do a copy and we do a copy value, okay? This is important. Or else you may end up copying each and every field. So this was server to client, let's paste it here. And similarly, let's actually do client to server, which will actually be in this update SDP message, as we saw in the last video. I'm gonna copy this one out. Copy value, copy this into gedit as well, okay? Now after this, we can close Wireshark. 
So now we have two encryption keys and which means now we can decrypt each of these streams. So what I'm going to do is first let's look at client to server. So I'm going to copy this key out, go back to our terminal, go into workspace SRTP decrypt. and then run SRTP decrypt, give it the key. So if you run SRTP decrypt without arguments, it'll actually tell you that dash key is where you put in the key. I'm gonna paste the key, and then I'm going to feed in the PCAP file. So this is two directories up, uh, call to voicemail.pcap and I'm then going to redirect the output into a new file and I'm going to call this voicemail and I think this is client to server, right? So client to server dot hex dump. So what SRTP decrypt is going to do is it's going to look at every SRTP packet, use that key and try to decrypt that packet. Now a cleaner way is to actually take the PCAP file and isolate all RTP streams which were only from client to server, right? So that way we know that SRTP decrypt will be able to decrypt every packet. Uh, I'm gonna do it the lazy way, both of these ways work. Uh, when you're learning, it might be interesting to apply the filters and export out all those packets uh, to make sure that you have one PCAP just for client to server and one PCAP for server to client, right? So I leave that as an exercise to you. When we run this, you'll actually see a bunch of error messages and that's basically one for each packet SRTP decrypt cannot decrypt, which in this case will be all packets from server to client, right? So I'm going to run this and we see it has a decoding fail permission denied. Don't go by permission denied, it's fine. Now, if we do an ls-lh, uh, and then what you'd find is we have the voicemail client to server dot hex dump. If you notice, this is almost 699 uh, kilobytes. Now, similarly, I'm going to actually copy the key from server to client. Copy this out. Go back in here. I'm going to call this server to client. Paste the key, run it. Now again, these messages are, you know, the ones for client to server, simply because they can't be decrypted by this key. So we can clearly see now we have two different hex dumps one for client to server stream and the other for server to client stream. So interestingly, if you look at any one of these packets or uh, rather files, you'd see that this is actually in a hex dump format, okay? Now what we need to do is import this format into Wireshark and tell it how to decode this hex dump. So I'm going to launch Wireshark. I'm gonna actually launch it from the current directory makes it easy for me to find packets, packet uh, PCAPs. So I'm going to do a file. Now this is important. Click on import from hex dump. Click on browse. Now I'm going to select, let's say server to client. Open. Offsets, it's hexadecimal. Now we need to give it a dummy header because you know, this is really UDP. And that's how other tools will end up working with it, like when we end up uh, running all the VoIP plugins. Source and destination port, well, you could try to be correct by picking it up from the packet and figuring out what the RTP source port and destination port was. It doesn't really matter, this is a dummy header just to facilitate stuff. So I'm gonna just put in two dummy values, 4000 and 4000, I really don't care. So I'm gonna do an import. And as you can see now, we see all of these unidirectional UDP packets, right? Which is really one stream, right? Uh, and this is server to client stream. 
Now, just like we did before, all we have to do is click, do a decode as, because these are now decrypted SRTP packets, which is it is nothing but RTP packet. So we go in here, select RTP, click OK. And if you notice beautifully, the RTP packets get decoded and we can see all of them have the same SSRC, which makes it clear that they all belong to the same stream, which means the decoding and all of that succeeded perfectly, right? Both the decryption as well as the current decode. Now we can run tools we already know. Uh, there is no SIP, so we can only rely on RTP. You can click on RTP stream analysis then click on play streams, see some audio in here. Let's see if we can play this. The person at extension two, 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 two is unavailable. Please leave your message after the tone. Fantastic. Done, hang up or press the pound key. So this is really from server to client as expected voicemail, right? You could save the audio by clicking on save as and saving it here, something we've seen in a previous video. Now, similarly, you can go ahead and import the other file. Which is client to server dot hex dump. The process is identical. Again, we feed in a UDP dummy header. And because the settings are already there for decode as it automatically decoded it. Click on RTP stream analysis. Click on play streams. Uh, visualization doesn't seem to work that well. So of course, in this case, it's the client bop to the server. So I'm assuming the first couple of seconds, uh, we pretty much only have the server's voicemail, uh, you know, kind of uh, welcome message playing. So let's wait for it. Hopefully we this should. Caller one. Welcome to Pentester Academy. So there you go. This is the other stream, right? Fantastic. So you can clearly see the insecurity if you're using SIP and SRTP, right? An attacker can monitor, get the encryption keys from SDP within SIP and then use tools like SRTP decrypt to go ahead and decrypt the traffic and listen to conversations. So now of course, I am a command line person. So the question arises, can you do all of this analysis uh, using T Shark, PCAP to Wave and all of those tools, right? Which you've already seen in previous videos. So the answer is yes. And we will do that in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Slides contain screenshots of exactly what we've done. So this is all I had in mind. If you're enjoying your time, please recommend us. Thank you.